Hello, welcome to episode two. We are still in the chicken pen and we are still grinding away at getting our chicken kills. So currently as we stand, we have got a couple of HP levels. We're now at level 14 HP and we've just achieved 50 mage. So we've got two more magic levels until we can do airstrike, which is pretty huge. And because we've got the staff here, it means we can pretty much just cast it without having to pay for runes. And we've dramatically increased how quick we kill these chickens as well. So until like level 10, like I was having to kill like 10 chickens, and then go to bank just because they'll cause me a bit too much damage. And that can be the issue with like AOE attacks and AOE spells. If you have them all on you, you can get some form of damage as well. But now pretty comfortable, pretty easy. Uh, we've got 140 chickens in the bank, which is about 300k. Um, and I'm just going to sit here and soldier on. Now, the good thing with getting 70 mage is we'll actually have a look at it in a second, actually. We have unlocked um, a very important spell. So we're going to gear up. Not only have we done these quests. Enacra's Lament in Aiden the Marquis. Watchtower to tell Musfa. And all these spells as well. But we've unlocked Bones to Bananas. And also Level 1 to Enchant as well. Which I think are going to do work for us. Now Bones to Bananas is very, very good. And a very good method of profit. And once I've sold off all these chickens... That's probably what I'm going to put in a grand exchange to go and buy, is the resources to do a couple of hours of bones to bananas, and then that's going to give us a massive platform then to go and move on with other stuff. What I'll probably do, try and buy it a little bit cheaper than normal, and then just go and do some other stuff, like I could save a little bit of GP and go and do things like fetch some logs into our shafts, which will make us a nice little bit of profit as well. So that's the plan at the minute. Um, let's stay here and do something like another 100 of these chickens. Get level 17 mage, which we will because we're only 300 XP off. Then we're going to get some bonus of banana supplies. And then we're going to go and see what we can do next. But uh, again, chickens, solid, easy. Uh, and to a point, if I ever need like a grindable way to train my lower stats, range or combat, it's very valid to come back and do them here. Uh, I make a little bit of money and they're never really like grief and stuff. So yeah. Decent little start. We're making like strides. We've got a little bit of a cash stack starting to build up as well. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. And uh, we will be back very shortly. We're level 17 mage, but also once we're at the Grand Exchange, starting to go through all our options. So there we go. Level 17 magic. We can now upgrade to a bolt. Now this hopefully should just mean absolute de demolition of the chickens. And we'll be able to get more kills per hour. And we'll just generally just speed up our killing. Uh, we'll see how we get on. So we've progressed slightly since earlier. I did all my note paper worth of chickens. So we've got about 300-ish chickens on the gun exchange. I'm trying to sell them for a slightly higher price. So they're taking a while to sell. So what I thought with my remaining sort of 100k, I invested in 1k flax. And the reason I've done this is a couple of reasons. One, it's going to make us something like 900k because both strings are nearly a thousand coins each. But also, it's uh, going to get me a lot of early level crafting. And that's going to be quite key to another sort of form of moneymaker. Crafting sort of low level is quite tedious, especially with like all the level crafting. But with bowstrings, I've just been able to do a thousand. And I'm going to get sort of low 30s. Um, so it's just saved like a load of effort. And we've made profit as well. So we've made profit and we've got a decent crafting level. Like 28, I think is going to unlock emerald. Let's just check. So as you can see, this is the first time I'm clicking on it. So quests we've unlocked. Gunner's Ground, Animal Magnetism, Creature of Fenken Strain, uh, Elemental Workshop 1, Giant Dwarf, Gollum, Inada Marquis, Once More Favor, Shades of Morton, Sheila Village, Tears of Gothic, Great Brain Robbery, and Smoking Kills. So as you can see, we've unlocked all of this, but the one I'm really looking for... The old jewellery. We can do sapphires and some sapphire jewellery, which is nice. There you go. Emerald and emerald rings. So we can do all of the sapphire stuff, which is good. We can do silver sickles. They're a little bit of profit as well, but they are members, so we can't do that. But uh, the big thing is, is that we can do emerald rings. So we can do rings of dueling. And hopefully in time, we can uh, get to the point where we can do like emerald necklaces because they'll be good for porters. And uh, yeah, also got 19 mage. So we can do Tavoli teleport, which I never knew existed uh, until now. So we've still got another, yeah, 250. So about 10 of those worth of uh, doing. We're up to 1.6 mil account value, which is not too bad, actually, considering we're only on like part way through day one in episode two. Um, so... I'm going to finish off the rest of these uh, invos and then I don't quite know what we'll do. I might actually end up doing another set of flags 
just because it's a great, great way for me to like build up um, the cash stack while being FK and doing other stuff as well. So, yeah. So with level 31, we've got Lost City, the Slug Menace, Shadow of the Storm, and the Cold War. Uh, Emerald Nexus, which is going to be porters for members, which is pretty good. And we've unlocked some other stuff as well. Really, it's the Emerald Jewelry, which we're most interested in as well. And if we have a look at the levels, crafting is going to be pretty big for us um, in terms of jewelry. Now, there's a lot we can't do, but nowadays you can do, he says, uh, I think you could, we can do a diamond necklace. And at the minute, diamond necklaces are pulling quite a decent little profit out as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the Grand Exchange. I'm going to go put our bow string into sell. And then we're going to have a little bit of a play with what we can do in terms of money. Now, I do want to go and do the bonus peaches. I think bonus peaches will really like give us a decent like cash stack to go at. And then we can start using our money to start buying supplies up. So tomorrow or maybe later in this episode, it's going to be a real big move in terms of what we can do for GP. The bowstrings and the chickens, I think we're at a point now where maybe we're a bit too far away from them now. We, we can get better things. I think we're going to have to go all in on crafting because crafting is going to be our best way of getting some GP for the time being anyway. So let's go throw these in the Grand Exchange and see if we can sell them. Another method as well, which I'm just going to go and check the prices of, is um, low-level fletching. So short bows and long bows, uh, for whatever reason, actually make GP at times. So we're going to go and see if that works as well. So let's throw in all of our bow strings. Now, because we've got a little bit of GP to play with, I'm going to check the margin. And again, very high bow strings. 875 is what it's currently on for, which is quite low, actually. It's a very good flip margin there as well. I'm going to leave these in overnight, but just a GP under their price. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to take the GP. I'm going to take the cash. We need to be moving with other stuff. So, uh, bananas, 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 bananas. UV spine cell. That's what we do. So, bones to bananas are going to go and cost us a little bit of GP. Okay. So, I'm going to try the short bow. Does this buy? No. So, $16.50 for a log is, like, expensive. Okay. I'm going to put my feelers out with that. I'm going to bring the chicken price down to what we sold for earlier. Oh, there we go. Right. So, they instant sold, which means we've got some cash to play with. 800k is pretty good. So I'm going to buy some nature runes, 100 nature runes. I'm going to buy 200 earth runes because I think earth runes are cheaper than water runes. I need to get a water staff. I can go and get the mind strike staff, but I'll get that at some point. So I need to go port sarum anyway. And then bones. We need to buy some bones. Let's go for 2k. And we'll leave them to buy. So that's going to be pretty much the end of today. I'm going to log off for today. See if all these can buy or sell. <laughs> Again, I'm not really pinning much hope onto the uh, short boat. Actually, to be fair, I think I'm going to take it out. Um, let's have a look at emerald necklaces. Let's try the rings as well. Because the rings are very expensive for a point. So 4k for an emerald ring. That's not horrific. Emerald necklace. Yeah, it's going to be necklace, isn't it? 5.1. Okay. So I'm going to buy some emerald prices. 425. 425 we can work with. 343. Three. Actually, that's a decent old. That's 75 GP each. Yeah. Because we're going to make so much profit, I'm not really going to mess around with this and just instant buy them. It's the gold bars we're going to struggle with. Yeah, so really. 1.1 mil. We need to sell those bowstrings. Okay. Well, at least we've got plans. So the next plans for tomorrow, maybe we do some more flax. Actually, to be fair, I could buy another 100 flax. Yeah, I'll buy another 1k flax. Buy another 1k flax, do another 1k flax, um, and then we've got the chance for the flax to sell, the bones to sell, and we can just keep moving. And that's what I want to keep doing, is just keep on moving and keep on throwing money in the bank. This will be the last time we do um, flax. Um, after we've done this flax, we'll have more than enough to work with, stuff would have bought, and we can then move in the right direction for the next one. So if this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be episode two of our Road to the Bond. To end this video, we have a total bank value of 1.8 mil, which isn't actually too bad. We've got um, exposure now to some more money-making methods. We've got flax, we've got jewelry, we've got bows to bananas. 
which should hopefully propel us to the next big tier of what we're going to be doing next. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you are, please make sure to like and subscribe. Again, any suggestions on what you want to see, how to make the series better, make sure to drop them in the comments. We really do appreciate all the feedback we've been getting. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.